pretty good the other day. I was able to monitor some of that, some of that communication. Aloha, aloha kamaha o. Oh, we got three Kauai's already jumping in the chat. Love it. Okay, and I see that we're live on our Facebook page. So I'm going to just make sure I turn that mute button off so that I can see the messaging there. Cool, we got friends joining us on our Facebook side. I see the numbers rising over there. We also have a bunch of our friends here um, on Zoom. And so we're really excited. Cool, we got friends joining us on our Facebook side. I see the numbers rising. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone was sharing their audio there. Not sure where that came from, but it's okay. We, like we said, we all learning. Okay. So pretty soon, ane ane omaka. Oh, our Facebook site, aloha e na hoa, my Facebook. I hear people say puke alo, something like that. <laughs> um, I see people joining us there. We have almost 100 people joining us on our Facebook Live. Um, and according to my watch here, my uwaki, my little Fitbit, e wakani no kahola, no leila, e aloha nui akakoa pau e na hoa, makeia honua nei, nui koma koma halo i ko Koho ana e na ne a pume mako malei anu e nu e aloha e na hoa ma puke alo to our Facebook ohana we're so excited that you you've chosen to also join us there whether on Zoom or on Facebook and we normally like to invite all of our friends whether you're on Zoom or Facebook maybe some of you are watching the recorded session um maybe on YouTube. Please let us know where you're tuning in from. That's usually my first slide here. So I'm going to try and advance my slide. See if that uh, works for me here. OK, and there we go. Yeah, so let us know where you're tuning in from. You can put that in the chat box. I see uh, Tiffany joining us from Kona. Um, earlier, I mentioned um, we have some of our Kawaii Ohana uh, joining us from Keaau, from Puohala, from Wailua. Um, Aloha e Manti, my Helu Moa Mai. Um, we also have Marsha joining us from Morocco. We have the Lizette Ohana from Eva Beach. Um, we have Ohana joining us from Kalawahime, Ahui Manu, Waianai, Makawao Maui. Um, let's see, I saw, oh, another one from Kauai. Woo, aloha. So we're just so excited because, you know, we, we have all kinds of friends and family and Haumana and Keiki and Kumu and Kayaulu joining us from all over um, Lahaina. I'm seeing um, Kenika joining us from Lahaina. So aloha nui ya oko pakahi. So again, we're really excited for today's session. And to kind of get a sense of who's out there, um, our next engagement question, oh, Detroit is, and oh, via Waianai. Detroit via Waianai, hikino. Um, so my next engagement question is again, who's joining us today? Can you put a one in the chat if you're a Kumu or a teacher? A two in the chat if you're a Makua, maybe even currently homeschooling. A three if you're a Haumana, like student, elementary to high school. Four, a Haumana Kulanui. Five, Kayaulu. You're just out there and you know, maybe you're facilitating community discussions maybe you don't fit in any one of these other categories 
Um, we're just wanting to get a sense. I'm seeing some ones, so some Kumus, some Haumana, um, some Kayaulu members, oh, and then some is one and two. You're a Kumu and you're a Makua. Yep, we all play multiple roles out there. One, two, and three. Um, so a variety of people. Aloha. Oh, we have Ohana from the Squamish. Um, Ohana in Canada. Kane Ohe, Waianai. Awesome. So a whole variety. And, you know, we, we were wanted to ask this question um, because it, it'll kind of help us see how to tailor um, our presentation today about um, Vaihona. Um, and I, I'm just gonna send out an aloha also to Arizona. We have Ohana joining us from Arizona. I'm seeing some of that on our Facebook chat. So I am monitoring our Zoom chat as well as our Facebook chat. Facebook chat. Um, whoo, that's getting a little tongue twister here. So awesome, we got a whole variety of people joining us. Let's see if I can. Oh, and you know, just to be very transparent here, we're learning today how to like have one person sharing a screen and then we turn over the remote to someone else. And so, you know, we're, we're, we're learning and we love um, these opportunities to learn different ways. Um, aloha to the Ohana, Hilohana Kahi, as well as Kayaulu, Ma Vayohuli Maui, Aloha Kako. Um, and even, oh, Anake Lorna, my Hana Pepe, Aloha Anake Lorna. Okay, hola mua no kako. Uh, our next slide is a ho'olauna slide. And so if you don't know, um, I am Malia Nobriga Oliveira. I'm totally excited to be here with you guys and to be one of the, the Leo Alaka'i that um, continue to to join all of you through our programming and um, just to be a leo alaka'i and a, a really a leo kako'o to our kaya'ulu. Um, I really love um, being able to join all of you here. Um, so I'm gonna, let's see, unmute my two hoa that will be presenting with me and I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. So I think I have unmuted both of them. Aloha e hoa. Aloha. Aloha. So maybe we'll start with Kanoi. Kanoi, um, do a whole lot of yourself and maybe a little bit about your ohana, where you're tuning in from. Yeah, aloha mai kako. Mahalo nui ya o ko pakahi apau. No ka hele anda mai. Uh, ki uh, uh, mea nui no ka lahui Hawaii no ke kaya ulu. O vauno o Kanoi. Suganu mo Wilson no ke okaha hilo mai yau. Uh, noho au ma wai kahe kahe puna, kahi kaulana i ka makani pu ulena. Uh, hana au uh, ma Kamehameha Schools, ma ke ala iwi kua mo'o. He uh, manakia, papa hana wau, uh, no kanai o kana, no leila mahalo nui ya oko no ka, uh, no ka hele ana mai ke ia la. Mahalo. And Krista, tell us a little bit about yourself. Eh, hey, aloha mai kako. Oh, uh, Krista Jones, ko inoa, no ho wau ma la ie, ma ka moku o o ahu. Um, hana wau ma ke alivi kuo mo'o, liki me ka noe. Um, I am the developer, one of the developers who've been working on the Vaihona. We have a small team of just three people that have been working on this project that we want to share with you today, and I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, our other developers are Kalani Bright from Kauai and Maui Bartlett from the beautiful island of Maui, of course. And I'm from Oahu, so we try to represent our Pai Aina through our development team as we're working on the Waihona project. And we're so excited to be able to share, with this, share this project with all of you today. Mahalo. Hi, mahalo nui. And you know, because I'm going to see if I can... Um... Can we stop sharing real quick, real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanna see how that turns. Yay. Okay, so um, I, I wanted to stop sharing because I chose certain lole and gear to share with all of you today. So first, 
it's our Kanayo Kana Papale here. I'm so excited. I got to like put it on. And then I even chose to wear this t-shirt. Hey, I'll put palapala ko u. You know, and just putting a shout out to all of our Kanai Okana team. Um, and yeah, we love engaging with our community, with um, just all of our friends and our all of our Kula Hawaii. So yeah, I totally decided to sport some of our gear today. So awesome, we're ready to get started. Let's um, share our screen again. And you know, today as we're as we're bringing that screen up, um, we're excited to share a little bit more about Vaihona.net. And you know, it's it's a, it's a new development. We're gonna hear a little bit about the mo'olelo behind it, um, how you can use it as as a resource. And I'm just gonna turn it over to my two hualoha. Who oh, look at this kind of fabulous animation too. I just love it. So um hola moa and I'll turn it over to Kanoi. Yo, mahalo again, Malia. Mahalo to everyone who's joined us today on Le Anue Nue. We're really excited, as Krista mentioned, about um, sharing with you folks about Vaihona. Um, we recently just launched it, actually just last week. So it's totally brand new, shiny new toy, just out of the box. It's like Christmas all over again for all of Hi. us. So we're so very excited to share this with you folks today. We know a lot of you are at home and so looking for resources to help with our kiki um, during this time. And so, you know, we're really excited to share this with you folks. And, you know, our waihona does start off with a great mo'olelo. And that mo'olelo starts off with every ohana that, you know, is watching this today. And, and that ohana is really talking about what's going on in our class in our classrooms throughout our pai aina and the lack of resources that are uh, in most cases our, our kumu um, don't have a lot of those resources in the classrooms and we all struggle with that the struggle is real with a lot of our kumu and we know that now i think a lot of us as makua know that today especially being home and now having to homeschool all of our kiki while we're home together and so right now, let me see if I can get to the next slide so I can show you the beautiful picture of these two beautiful wahine that you see here. This is Ekela Kani Opio Crozier, my tita, and uh, her beautiful daughter, Kale Aloha. And Ekela has been a long time kumu in the private, public sector. She's created curriculum. If some of you have watched OEV TV, that's her from Kula EV and back in those days. And so, you know, being a Kumu herself, she, of course, also reared her children in Hawaiian language and Hawaiian language immersion programs. So Kale Aloha is one of those products of Hawaiian language immersion. And so the beauty about it is that both of them being intergenerational in their household, speaking Olelo Hawaii, both of them deciding also going into education and how to give back to our communities. And Kale Aloha went, is now currently a Kumu at Paia Elementary School on Maui at Kulakaya Puni there. And one of the things, of course, is every Kumu, if you've noticed, going into the classroom, she noticed right away, where are all those culture-based educational resources for my kiki? You know, a lot of times those resources that we had, and if some of us remember back in those days of the Oki and Tuko days where we're translating English curriculum into Hawaiian. That was really kind of a staple in the beginning of the Hawaiian language movement. And so we saw such a huge need. Also to we realize that there was something that was going on within our communities, our ohana, we see that today happening. And of course, how do we then get to a point where, where do we find these things? Where are these things? Today, we might be able to Google and we might have millions of hits of websites. And so we could find these resources scattered throughout the internet and find them on different websites and different organizational websites. Where do we find resources for Olelo Hawaii? And then of course, resources that can support communities, right? How do communities get their resources out to other communities for our own communities? And that was really sort of the prompt for Kanai Okana, it really became sort of this charge and this initiative with Kanai Okana and say right now, right here, this is how, this is an identified foundational need for our Kaya Ulu, for our community, for our people. And not just in Hawaii, but everyone all over the Honua, all of our Kanaka, all over the Honua, everyone who is scattered throughout 
um, our planet here that has sort of this affiliation and this love for Hawaii and wanting to learn everything there is to know about Hawaii and all of our Ike Kupuna, our Ike Hawaii and Olelo Hawaii. We saw this as a need and said, you know what, now's the time. We have that right here and right now and that ability to do that. And I wonder, Malia, if you could share being a member of our Kumike Ho'okele, um, your perspective too about Vaihona. Speaking of, um, yeah, you know, I remember in those first few halavai that we had as um, Kanayo Kana, when we were just even like figuring out what's our vision and what's our mission and, you know, coming up with our strategic priorities, you know, Ekela did come to, to these halavai and she's just like, we need a place to share resources, you know, like my daughter is teaching and like she keeps asking like I don't know mom I don't know where to find this and do I have to start to do the Oki and Tuko thing now and you know and I mean even reflecting on myself as a past Kumu Kayapuni um you know where I taught K-12 um Papa Mele at Anue Nue like I never really shared that beyond just you know Hanakope and passing it out to my haumana. Um, and then, you know, so now when I have like friends here on Kauai that are kupuna or in the kupuna program here, like maybe at LL school or any of the schools here, you know, they're asking me for resources and how can I share? And I, I'm like, oh yeah, like maybe that's, this is a space where I can start to send them, you know, because right now, again, I'm just emailing it to her or I'm, you know, Facebooking it to her, you know, but I like this, um, this place where we can come and share. And it has definitely, definitely been a kahea from day one. And so early on, we really mahalo the support that was provided through Kiala Ivikua Mo'o and that team to identify um, those kinds of developers that we wanted to have within our hale. And then of course, um, you know, it's been exciting because some people were now able to come home to Hawaii, return to Hawaii, and to know that there is a place that, and they can fill a need and give back to the community here in Hawaii as a whole, um, to come from a, a, that perspective that we're really trying to feed into the vision of um, raising Aloha Aina leaders, which is really where we, uh, what we are committed to as Kanayo Kana. So, he vahi mana o kena. Yeah, mahalo, mahalo, um, Malia. That's exactly it. And so if we think about what are those examples and how we continue to walk in the footsteps of our kupuna, there's one example that we know we can always look to and look at, and that's our new pepper. Our new Peppa was really that first version of the Vaihona. It, it is currently still that repository for all of us to still look at and understand and really gather some of that Ike Kupuna that was shared. And just imagine if we didn't have all of that wealth of resources and knowledge and everything like that, where would we be today? And so it's really important that we acknowledge our Nupepa Kuoka'a because really it's acknowledging that legacy of our Kupuna and what they left behind for us and how then can we carry that forward for the next generation of our kumu and our haumana today? Such an important resource that we know. I love, I see colleagues today still posting um, examples from the Nupepo Kuokoa about past epidemics that happened during that time in the 19th century and how our mo'i vahine and our ali'i were, were um, you know, dealing with that. And so love hearing those mo'olelo and how that still is pertinent for us today and so certainly what we felt was that creating such a repository and a resource to continue and fostering and cultivating those Aloha Aina leaders and ensuring that that Ike Hawaii and that Olelo Hawaii gets to laha and ka'analike and shared and brought in with all of our, our uh, kanaka all over the, uh, wherever they are in the world. This is really that motivation. And so really when we think about it, what is Vaihana? Well, at the simplest terms, vaihana.net, it's a website, but it's not just a website now. It's also a collaborative space. And what we mean by that is it's a space where educators, community members, makua, parents, um, anyone that can come onto Vaihana that actually can share 
learning resources and educational resources. And the focus for us, because we know there are other sites out there that do the math and do the English and do all of these other different types of subjects and areas and everything like that. But really for us on Vaihona, the focus is on our Ike Hawaii and our Olelo Hawaii. Just like Malia mentioned, you know, growing Aloha Aina leaders through that Ike Hawaii and Olelo Hawaii lens is so critical and it's so important in today's, when we're talking, you know, in today's context. Um, it focuses also on culture and Aina-based learning. So if you're an organization or you're a Makua looking for things like that or are doing that, please share those resources with the rest of our um, ohana that are out there. Because at the end of the day, it's about crowdsourcing. And we hear that a lot. What does that mean, crowdsourcing? And really, it's about now open source type learning materials where we're all sharing upon each other. We're all being able to share with one another. So it's not just one person's Ike, but it's a breadth of Ike that everyone is sharing because we know perspectives on Kauai and things and practices that we do on Kauai are gonna be different from our practices on Maui or Hawaii Island. But we all wanna learn that. We all wanna hear that. And that's the great thing about Waihona. And so with that, it also means that we're really gonna huliau the system that we have right now, you guys. It's all about creating that systemic change. And part of that systemic change a lot of times starts with all of us and starts at home with all of us. And so enough me talk about it. Let's get on it and let's do our virtual huakai to get on to Vaihona. So really simply here, you can actually get onto our vaihona.net. I want to say that again. Vaihona.net is our website. A lot of other sites out there, but our site is, gang, Vaihona.net. <laughs> and we'll put it in the chat too. We'll put it in the chat and then also on the Facebook. So yeah, mahalo. mahalo. And so as soon as you get on there, make sure you log in, you register. Uh, Chris is going to share with us how to do that. As soon as you get on there, of course, the first thing you see is resources. And you can see the breadth of resources that we have right here, right now on this website. It is phenomenal. And resources from things like you can see comic keys, uh, writing assignments to actual videos that you see here. Um, there are also links. So if you're an organization that is doing educational resources, you don't have to necessarily upload, upload your resources to our site here. You can actually link it to your beautiful site as well. And so you can see all of the fabulous things. So if I were to, let's try and see if we can click on our 2020 Kiala Okumahina, because I know most of us saw our beautiful Mahina in the Mahalani the other night. And so if you wanted to find out more information, you can see here clicking on this, there's that full text link. All you do is click on the link, takes you right to the website, and you can actually see our Kiala Okumahina produced by our Kamehameha Publishing Group right there. And so really awesome resources that are on here. The other thing that you can also see on our resources is that we actually have right here our different search fields, our search filters. So if you're looking for something specific related to, let's say, for example, we're going to look for some artwork maybe, and you can actually use the text field up here. You can use from Aina, grade, all of these different filters. And so within that text field, maybe we'll put art in that text field. And if we hit return, we can, we're going to be able to see everything that is utilizing art within our Vaihona. And so again, really cool resources um, that you can see on Vaihona. The other thing is really neat is that you can actually then see all of our various different contributors. Sorry, back step. Yeah. Right now. Go ahead, Malia. Actually, can I jump in? Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure where it's coming from. We're getting some comments that there's this really weird sound. It sounds like somebody's typing. So I was trying to look on who's mute and unmute. I'm not really sure. So maybe let's just be grace. Give us some grace. And I don't know where we, we continue to learn um, through this process. But I was wondering, maybe before we move on to the contributors, I wanted to see if um, somebody wanted to do a special uh, search here in the filter. If somebody can put in the chat, like something you want us to look for. Because I want to just see, like, maybe and a way to just engage with all of you, because we are seeing some of you here live. 
So maybe in the Zoom or on the Facebook, put a topic or uh, something you want us to go look for. Um, let me see, anybody have a special request of something you want us to look for? I don't see any popping up, so I, maybe I'm going to put a special request. Oh, okay. Somebody said rainbow. That's the first one that popped up here. Can you put in rainbow and let's see if we have anything in here. Anything in there? Oh, okay. So it does show us this one. Um, I believe this is a video um, and it has some reference to, to rainbow. So, you know, I did, um, I have been trying to play around with it and, you know, something, um, something I've been learning and I know that our development team will talk more about this and, you know, are continuing to, cause we're just in the early phases of it. It really does, um, depending on when you contribute your resource here and you add it, it, it'll really depend on like your uh, description. You know, so if there are some key words like rainbow, or you think more people will be searching for the Hawaiian word of anuenue, or somebody said is um, they're looking for STEM projects. Can we do a quick search for STEM? I don't know. So again, if somebody used STEM as an acronym and put it in to their description. Can we do a quick search and see if there is a STEM project just to kind of call that? But you know, so again, it, it really depends on if um, how someone is describing it. So obviously all kinds of things are showing up here. And I think what we're referring to here is kind of like the Lokoi'a the Aina um, Lupa Lupa series, because we know that that has a, a very um, strong STEM focus within it. So you would kind of have to go in, at, depending on what you're searching for, and really look for, um, you know, if, it, if it's really the STEM that you're looking for, because I'm not sure if in those Hulili ones, it's really STEM, meaning the science technology, you know, it, it might have been a STEM of a, of a educational system or something, but yeah, just mahalo for um, people giving some ideas on on those kinds of filters. Ma back to you. <laughs> yeah, mahalo, and that's a great idea. So again, we go back to also where you contribute a resource. Exactly that you um, we want to make sure that you're also putting in all of those different types of um, you know mags as we them more way in which people can and search because you'll notice that you can do from a text to subject categories all of the different fields that we have right now so that's the uh, the key part when you're looking for these different resources or also contributing the resources and sharing your resources um, on site uh, on the site the great thing right now is we're roughly right now we have over 200 resources so you guys know out there it's not an exhaustive list and so the kahea goes out to all of you if you have resources upload them this is constantly growing every day so please always come back because there's more and more things that are always going on the other cool thing that we can see on here is who's playing in the vaihona sandbox so if you click on the contributors, you can actually see who's on there. So E, there's our beautiful Krista Jones, Kehau Nani, we've got Kapua Adam. So you can actually see now who are all the different contributors that we have here on Vaihona, who is part of this community of Vaihona. And you can actually then find out, oh, who is Kehau Nani Abad? Well, let's see. She is beautiful. I want to learn more about who she is. And so I can read a little bio about her. I can see the contributions that she's done and she's added to the Vaihona. And you know what? I can even follow her. I can see um, and, and learn more what she's doing. But sort of this, just like Instagram and just like Facebook, we have sort of this social media component where now you can also follow these contributors and know when they're going to be contributing things and seeing if these are things that you want to incorporate too or share with your Ohana or your students. And then lastly, oh. that we, 
yeah, go ahead. Please. I have a um, question that popped up and actually a quick comment as well, because I think you mentioned a little earlier, like we just really like launched this just recently. You know, some of us that have been a part of Kanayo Kana, we've been able to go in and play to just get some, give some feedback to our team. But really we are, we just decided to open the doors. Like, was it a day or two ago? And, you know, and so we're, we, oh, one day. So, you know, it's, it's totally brand new. And that's why we wanted to bring it here to this platform, to those of you on Facebook, to, you know, those of you on Zoom, we're, we're inviting you. We're, we're wanting you to come and join us and share and, and be, um, feel comfortable about sharing in the space. You know, I think a lot of us, we get so hila hila and we're like, oh no, my Havina is not good enough and, or my picture, or, you know, I, I don't know. I got to play with this a little longer. And we really want to make it a safe space. And I know like everybody gets to look at it, but you can come back later and if you maybe make a newer version, a 2.0 of your Ha'avina, and maybe it can be like, you know, Kanoi said, a collaborative space. So maybe you, you might put out a question there like, hey, any other Kumu use something similar? And do you have any mana on how I can make this better? And, you know, maybe it can be that kind of back and forth. And, you know, you don't always feel like you have that kind of community you know, um, in your in your own um, areas or maybe in your school or you've seen somebody else at another school do something really exciting. So then, yeah, maybe you, you'll make a new Hoakumu, a friend, you know, another colleague at another school that's like totally blowing your mind. You saw a video. And so maybe it can start a new collaboration. I think that's really exciting. And going back to that filter, Al is, posting a question here, um, search bar. Can we type several words to find what we are looking for or just one word like veheveheh.org? Krista, you wanna yeah. take that one? Since you're the technical guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, he can, no, you can definitely type multiple things in here in the search bar to type different kinds of text. And, uh, you know, this is, um, you know, we wanted to make sure that this was going to be available to as many people as possible right now because of COVID-19. So we're not done with this yet. We're still going to be working on um, building additional features and having different kinds of ways to search. We know there's lots of different ways that people can find. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of different additional things to it. So, you know, it's, it's solid right now. You can use it right now. We want people to be in there and using it because it's going to help them uh, especially with the situation that's going on right now. But, uh, you know, we also want to let folks know that there's a lot more to come and we want you to get in there, give us your feedback and uh, your ideas, suggestions, questions as we continue to build it. So absolutely, mahalo for the question. Yes, mahalo nuyao. And then um, again, you know, with the with the amount of people right now, we have over 300 of you that have joined us on Vaihona. And we definitely want to see the numbers increase with more and more of you jumping on and seeing these resources as well and contributing and sharing. So that's the great part that we're seeing right now. And then uh, Krista earlier we're do was doing all the organizations. So on the organizations right now, we have over 60 different organizations that include our Kanayo Kana Network Schools, um, our Hawaiian Focus Charter Schools, as well as some of our Aina-based organizations. And you can just see all of them out there. Hui Malama Ikeala Ulili and our gang out in Hamakua, our In Peace group um, with early childhood education. Um, I gotta give a shout out to our Nakula Kamali'i gang. They're right now, they have probably the largest group of contributors, almost 50 of them on there. So woohoo to our Hi'ialo Ohana that's out there. So my Ka'i. Um, and so this is again, exciting to see. So the more you come back, the more you visit Waihana, you'll actually be able to see all of the different resources, who's on there, the organizations that are there. And this is what's really exciting about being part of this um, movement, if you will, this Vaihona movement. So with that, what I wanted to do is just turn some time over to Krista. She's gonna take us through kind of how do we get on or, or some mana'o that we can harness from you folks 
um, on how we want to move forward with our vaihona. So, Krista? Yeah. Mahalo, but let's just do a quick pulse check. How are you guys feeling? Are you excited about the Waihona? Are you looking forward to getting in there? If this is something you think is going to be good and awesome for your, your kula, your ohana, give us a thumbs up or give us some emoji love. We want to know if this is something that you like that you want to keep seeing. Yeah, so let's see. I, I see some yes, I see some hearts showing up. I see some hearts on the Facebook side. So Love yeah, it. they're definitely excited. Some thumbs up. Um, ooh, lots of hearts now on our ooh, Facebook end. Mahalo. So, awesome, mahalo oh. for sharing the love. You know, I wanted to mention before you, Holomua, um, there is a um, question here or a, uh, just a kahea, um, you know, to our developers out there. Um, Brittany is saying, I hope we have apps with full courses for kids one day, something like ABC Mouse, but Hawaiian. I mm. love it. <laughs> Are you already using the Waihona? So if you're one of the lucky people who got in here already and you already created an account, you already started using it, raise your hand, give us a thumbs up or a clap. Let us know if you are already in the Waihona. Actually, uh, an easy one is put a one in the chat if you're a member of the Vaihona. Put a one in the chat on Facebook. Okay, I see a few ones. So we do have a few out there it. that awesome. are already a part of our community. Awesome. Hello. Awesome. So for everyone else, are you? do you want to know how you can get in? Do you want to get early access? Give us the number two. If you're not in the Vaihana yet, but you want to jump in and you're looking forward to finding out how, because we're yep. going to show you in just a minute. Irene, Mel, Kule, John, they're all putting twos. They want to know. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay. So I'm going to show you right now how you can get access to the Vaihana. So this is, this is early access, like I said. And so the only way you can get in there is um, you have to create an account and log in. It's totally free, you know, you're nothing weird about an account, but you have to make an account and register and then log in in order to access the Waihana. So there's two ways that you can register. If you are, um, you know, a member of a school or organization, one of those Kula that we were showing you already, uh, a, a Kumu, uh, an employee or a member of a Hui or whatever, one of those organizations. And if you already got the invitation code, from your hui, the official in code, then you can register with your hui and you'll just choose the name of your organization, click on this button to continue your registration. If you don't have an invitation code or if your kula is not in here already or whatever, that's okay, that's totally fine. You know, like I said before, with the situation we have right now, it was most important to us to make sure as many people could use something like this as quickly as possible and not have to wait for, you know, everything else to get organized, get set up, whatever. So for everyone else, we created Hale Kako'o for you to jump into the Hale and start using this Kako'o, creating things, whatever. You can join through Hale Kako'o. So, and you don't have to have an invitation code or anything. You just click on this button here to join Hale Kako'o. And then um, that's going to take you here to this next page. Really simple. We just want to know what organization or Kula you do belong to. If it's not one of the ones that are already listed, or if it is, but you don't have the code, just tell us what Kula it is. Um, or if you're a Makua at home, you can put in the name of your, your, your Kiki school because you're trying to support them through you know, their online school or whatever. You can put that down or your civic club, your neighborhood association, whatever your organization is, you can just fill that in. And if you don't affiliate with anything, that's fine. You could just type none, that's okay too. You know, just fill in something in that box and then choose the organization category, whatever, you know, look at the options, whatever is the best fit, just check on that and let us know. And then, you know, what is your area of expertise? We all have something that we really good at, yeah? And what do we have that we can share with the Waihona community? So if you're a math teacher, you can type you're a math teacher at whatever school. Uh, if you're a Makua and you're supporting your kids, uh, my kids go to Kahuku, go Red Raiders. I could type down, you know, I'm a Makua, my kids are at Kahuku and I'm supporting them from home. Uh, you know, or whatever your talent is, if you have something you wanna share in Waihona for our community, 
just to, just type that, just fill that in. We all have things that we can give and share, yeah? So and then if you can it. let us know. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was just thinking, oops, turn off the phone. That's one thing. <laughs> um, I was just thinking as you were saying this, um, can, like if I wasn't really connected to an organization or a school, um, can I put in here, like say for myself, could I have put under that name of school or organization, can I put something like Ohana Nobriga Oliveira and maybe area of expertise, I can say that I am a baker. Yeah, absolutely. You can put anything in here. And the reason we're asking for that is because if we see lots of people coming into Halekako'o and they're all say that, you know, they're all part of this halal or they're all part of this one ohana or whatever, then we can reach out and say, you know what, you guys should just join the Wahana as an organization. And that way we can make sure that we, you know, have the support for you that way. So that's why we want to know, you know, just, just put in whatever seems like it's going to be the, the best for you um, to put down for here. And then let us know how you heard about the Waihana. So you can put in Le Anui Nui for the, the webinar today, or, you know, your friend's name or whatever. Just let us know. And then just click on continue to go on to the next part. Yeah. You know, I had another really quick um, mana'o and, um, you know, because we're approaching Easter, but we're also approaching what would have been our Mary Monarch season, right? Mm, I mean, we're all yeah. like jonesing from this. Um, and, you know, I'm just thinking like our Kumu's, uh, our Kumu Hula, they work so hard on their fact sheets and their research about their mele. Um, yeah. And, you know, I, I, I'm just thinking like, not that you have to share all of your fact sheets or what, but I think that's such a great resource for, you know, and maybe I'll kahea out to our kumuhula. If there are parts of maybe past um, performances, whether it be Mary Monarch or Hula Oni E, or, you know, nowadays for almost any um, competition you enter, you know, we, um, we have to prepare these fact sheets or these, and then we have our million, we share it with our, are halal. I mean, if those are things that there are parts and bits and pieces that you would like to share, that would be such a valuable resource for even Kumu in, in um, and Kupuna in the schools who are maybe looking for a little mummy of information about Waiehu, you know, and they try to search and they can't do, they just can't find any information. We know that all of these mommy of information are found in our mele. And so, yeah, just a little kahea out to our kumuhula. I mean, we have so much aloha for all that you guys do and, you know, what you share. And I know that not having the monarch is such a, such a down in a little bit of way, you know, but, you know, I just wanted to send some aloha and kahea that maybe this is a way we can get engaged with all of our kumuhula and our haumana. Mahalo. Ay, mahalo, mahalo. And I saw a question in the chat. Someone wanted to know if haumana can join the waihona. And so I just wanted to mention that this we didn't really design this tool for haumana. We designed it for the kumu, uh, for the makua that are supporting our haumana at home, uh, for our community members, our kupuna, uh, the folks who have the ike that they want to share. Um, so Hamana, you can wait. Please ask your kumu, please ask your makua. Uh, later on, there'll be something just for the Hamana, but we really did design this for the kumu and not necessarily for the Hamana. So mahalo for the question, yeah? Yeah, kamaha'o, you go ask your mom, tell mom <laughs> to go join up and then that'll be your way in to look around. If mom not going to look, then you say, mom, go log in so I can go check. I know Kamaha'o, that's why and his mom is <laughs> out there. Mahalo. Okay, so either way, if you go through the through the first way through your organization, or if you go through Halekako'o, it's gonna take you to this last form. And you know, this is just a basic registration form. You fill in your name, you fill in your title, your the name you want people to see on your, your profile page. If you have Inoa Hawaii, my name is Krissa, but if I wanted to use my Inoa Hawaii Ke'ala Okamaile, I could write that in there as well. Um, and, you know, just fill it out, your password, all like that. And then when you get to the next page or the bottom of the form, you scroll down, uh, you have to actually scroll through this whole document 
to read it all, get all the way to the bottom. This is the kuleana um, for all of the folks who are participating in the Vaihana. So we do ask you to read and scroll all the way through to the bottom before you can check on this little box here. And then that's what's gonna allow you to continue. And if that little box is too small, you can also check on the, click on that link and open it in another window so you can read the whole document, yeah? But please uh, read through the kuleana. Um, it's not just a bunch of extra words. We, we took some time to write, you know, the mana'o that we wanted to share in here and then check the box and then you can create your account, yeah? And it should, it should be really fast. And then after you create your account, that's gonna take you back to this home page. And some people are surprised. They get here and they're like, oh, what happened? Did it break? Do I have to do over again? And they click on that register again. So that's not gonna work. You cannot register two times. So once you get back here to the page, all you have to do is log in. So you just click on that login button in the corner right there. And you can just, you know, log in, you put in your email and that password and then you can log in. And if you have any trouble in the process, or if you need any help with anything, you just click on these buttons right here at the bottom, either the feedback button, and that goes directly to me and Kalani and Maui. Um, please provide your contact information so we can follow up with you and help you fix the problem. Or you can click on the other button, the Slack one, and you can discuss, you know, kind of kuka kuka online with, with all the folks that are using the Waihona, the Waihona right now, and you can get some support that way. So mahalo, that's all, it's really easy. Just make sure you log in. If you registered already, you just need to log in at that point to continue. Kanoi, your turn. Yes. All right, so why would we, or why would I want to become a member of Waihona? Well, Lahui. Ooh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hold on, yeah, sorry about that. We get multiple people trying to mute, unmute, mute, unmute. <laughs> Let me try and unmute you. Give me a second. Okay. Maybe you need to try and unmute yourself now. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. And so with that, um, you know, why to become a member of Vihona? Well, we're hoping that you're gonna you want to help us with enriching everyone in our communities. Um, so right now at this point in time, you know, it's really about how do we then support one another, as we were saying, how do community organizations and all these resources that they have share it to the broader community? How do Kumus also share their Ha'avinas and their lessons with the Ohanas that are now taking on that Kulina to support their um, Haumana at home? And so this is really an important um, thing that we really want to get out is this is why we should be part of Waihona. It's exciting, it's new, um, and we want your mana'o. As we go forward in designing this, like was shared earlier, this is early access, you guys. This is like ground floor coming in, hitting the ground running with us, and all your feedback, as um, Krista was sharing, is really going to help us steer the canoe and steer the va'a. And so that's the really cool thing is that you're actually going to be part of the development of this website. So what that actual end, you know, um, of what the vision of what Vaihona will be can still be shaped by all of you being part of this. Um, also, too, the intention was for Kumu. And part of it is like to support that professional growth for our Kumu. I had a colleague of mine, and we're going to hear from her, um, who is going through her board certification. And what better way to like now put a digital portfolio together is by using Waihona. So that's really cool that, you know, to hear that Kumus can do this as well. Um, and of course, first and foremost, right now going on with all of us in our, uh, our lives, supporting the learning of our Ohana at home. And really that's so huge. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you guys right now, don't take our word for it. Let's hear from some of our Kumu and our colleagues out there who are doing that. Go ahead. Aloha mai kako o ka hanu ola solatorio ko o inoa. Ahe kumu o la loho vaia o makikula ki e ki e o kamehameha makapalama. Uh, first of all, I wanted to share my aloha with the entire Kanae Okana team. Mahalo nui loa for all of your hard work and your dedication to our lahui. And mahalo for this amazing new resource, Vaihona. Um, as an educator, I can really see the value and the impact that this is going to have for um, our entire educational system here in Hawaii. Um, and it's a 
easy to use way to collaborate with other education educators from across the entire Paya Aina, um, from DOE to Punanaleo to Kayapuni to our private schools as well. A really good resource, especially in this 21st century of technology and, um, you know, distance learning. So mahalo for this great resource. And it really brings to mind the Olano no Iao Aohe Pauka Ike Kahalo Hookahi, that not all knowledge is gained from one source. Um, you know, I love learning from other Kumu on how they incorporate Ike Hawaii and how they teach in their classroom and what methodologies they teach, they use in their classrooms. Um, so just mahalo nui loa for this great idea. And I recently uploaded one of my workbooks, Hoike Aku Hoike Mai. Um, just has a lot of fun activities in there, but it's also an easy way to learn some Olan Hawaii. So I created it not only for me, not only for my students, but for anyone who wants to learn. So if you want to incorporate it into your curriculum, please feel free to um, and follow me on a whole opinion. My just you know some Olan Hawaii small tips on Instagram. So. Um, but yeah, other than that, just mahalo nui loa for all of your hard work and for creating this beautiful website um, that you can just upload and share and, you know, unite our lahui through education. Uh, yeah, mahalo nui loa. Aloha. Oh, mahalo. Mahalo for sharing that. You know, it's awesome to hear stories. Aloha. Like oh, Shana. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I was Arthur Koinoa. Uh no Keo Kwa Um I am a Papa E Lua Kumu at Kua Okala. And um uh, like many of the teachers right now going through distance learning for the first time. And I was happy to be able to utilize this wonderful resource called Vaihona. Um it's found at Vaihona.net. Uh, after registering, you can come in and use resources. You can contribute resources. Um, I, I just got signed up on Saturday and, um, let's see here. I went through, it's wonderful. I just kind of went through and read, um, some of the topics. I clicked on a lot of the links. Uh, for myself, we are using Class Dojo, and I was, let's see here, at home learning. I decided this week to go through, and um, basically I made a Google Doc of what my Kiki, what I wanted my Kiki to do. These are some um, suggested learning as uh, we've been uh, asked to give review topics to our keiki. So, in what I found from Vaihona that I used this week was our kumu, a Hawaiiana kumu at Kuokala recently did a unit on Aipono. So, I, I thought it was great. I went ahead and um, included that in our writing uh, for the week, one of our days. And basically, um, I clicked on the link here, it's way at the bottom. So this one right here, I clicked on the link, watched the video. And here it is, a wonderful video uh, explaining Aipono. Then I copied the link at the top. I put it into my Google Doc right here and turned it into a PDF for my Kiki. Uh, when they go on, they click here and then the video pops up and they get to watch it um, and then respond to me after, after viewing it. Uh, there were a few different resources I used this week. Um, there was one that I really loved. It was a Hoike resource. Uh, one of the first 
pages was talking about um, Amooku Ao Hao, a very simple one, but so wonderful. So many different resources right now, and uh, I'm looking forward to adding in some art resources. Oh, here it is. Mahalo, Kahanoola, Solitario. Mahalo so much. This is a really great resource. Um, I believe it's, I, I can't even remember, but it was like Mahalo. multiple pages, pages the upon video? pages of Ho'olauna, Mo'oku Auhau. Mahalo. No, I'm just watching our time and I know I just out of respect to, for everyone's time. You know, I, I'm loving these beginner um, explorations and seeing how this is being helpful. I think a thought I had from Kahanu's one, um, Kahanu Ola's one was, you know, just, you can see that his heart is really just wanting to share and share his Ha'avina as a, as a La'ana, as an example. And then again, you know, being comfortable with that. Um, and, you know, I, I was going to make a comment before we jumped into the videos, but I, and, uh, on one of the um, badges. And, you know, I wanted to say we're also really wanting to just have fun because we know that education is fun. And, you know, um, so that other one earlier, the, the badge that was shared earlier was pictures of two I.O. And then it said I.O.U., you know, and it's, I thought that was so cool and so fun. And so, you know, our, our development team and our graphic artists, they're like trying to really be creative too. So you see one of those examples here on the screen, it says collaborators. And it's so funny because I had, I ate color last night. And so it, it's totally like making me think about that. And um, yeah, so I love those stories and seeing the different kinds of examples, especially as a Kumu, how those resources can now be like put into um, put into use now, you know. So we have Kumu that are already looking for all these things. So it just makes it so much easier and quicker to prepare these kinds of Ha'avina for your families. So um, back exactly. to you guys. Then that was exciting because I'll tell you guys right now, that was not scripted, okay? It was two separate Kumu, one looking for resources, the other one uploading resource, and just exactly what we, you know, developed one enough for, it just happened. Like, that was so beautifully how organically it happened. And then, of course, the two people we asked, can you share what you guys did? It was compliment, you know, it's like one saying, oh, I mean, use this resource. And so, mahalo to Kahanu and mahalo to, um, to Shana, for um, sharing their manao and being those brave, you know, uh, kumus going on there, sharing resources um, and sharing it with their, their hamana and ohana as well. So really what's next? Well, you guys get on there, log in, go on, visit. We want to hear from you. We want you guys to share manao. We got, you know, and again, just as Malia was saying, have fun. The more you go on there, there are these awesome badges. So we did incentivize it for you. Um, also to share your, um, your lessons, share your resources that you have. And so um, we just, you know, again, every time you come back, you're going to see more resources on there. Um, you're going to see more of our community members on there and organizations on there. And then also to help us, like we said, steer the va'a. Um, all of your mana'o, your feedback, everything is going to be essential on how we further develop and how we actually come up with that full version when we're ready to really launch that full version of what Vaihana could really look like. And we're, again, the kahea is put out and the puga is open now for all of you to join that and jump on the va'a, the Vaihona va'a with us and really help us kind of build this for um, our keiki and for our hamana and for our uh, broader community. So we're just really excited to share this with you all today. So really quick, we have a, a quick poll for those of you, if you like what you see or if you've had a chance to play with it already, tell us what you think we should work on next. Where should we focus our energy? So just type the number. We have six options here. I'll just give you one quick minute to take a look. Tell us what's most important to you that you want to see um, us be working on next in our next development phase. And if you don't know, that's okay. You can just type number six. You don't know right now, but 
um, just let us know what you think is going to be really important to you to see next. Because like I said, we're still adding more features to the Vaihana, yeah? So, uh, and if there's something else you want to, you know, if you want to type something in for some a, a certain tool you would really love to see or something you really want, you can go ahead and throw that in the chat or the comment as well. Um, we really appreciate your support. And uh, once you get a chance to use the Vaihona, you can always send us feedback anytime by clicking on that feedback button and, uh, you know, telling us, you know, if something doesn't work the way you think it should, or you have an idea for something else you want to see, just throw it in that feedback. We love to hear from all of you because, you know, we're building it for all of you. We're building it for all of us. And we need everyone's mana'o to, uh, you know, to get it to something that's going to be really, really beautiful for all of us. So. Mahalo, just five more seconds. Four, yeah, three, two, one. Awesome. Mahalo. So I was I wanted to read it out um, before we move on. Can we go back to the page? Because we may be turning these also into podcasts. And so some people may not be able to see what we were just voting on. So um and, and so I'm just gonna read it out. So in case you're listening on podcasts you can kind of hear um, what we're engaging oh, with here. So number one, and you can still have a few more seconds to put this <laughs> in the chat if you want, because I do see a number of fours and fives and twos in there. So number one is collaboration, communication, and video conferencing tools. Number two is teacher tools, scheduling, and cloud drive integration. Number three is easier site navigation searching tags and related links number four is curated featured curated featured and ina based content five support for frameworks and standards alignment and number six don't know at this time so yeah i see a number of fours that fours and five seems like the really um sorry fours I see like if I'm going to count it really quick, one, two, three, four, five, and then a few on the Facebook side. And hey, look at that cute um, graphic over there. Too cool for school. <laughs> Mahalo, Malia. Mahalo. So again, if you need to reach out to us, if you have any questions, you need any technical support, something's not working right, or you can't sign in or log in, just send us an email or use the feedback the feedback button. My email, chajones at ksbe.edu, or you can email to kalani at kabright at ksbe.edu or to maui ywbartle at ksbe.edu. And then if you're a Kula, if you're an administrator, if you need some support on the school side and you wanna uh, reach out to Kanoi, help, she can help you get your Kula set up, your org set up in the Waihona. Um, please reach out knwilson at ksbe.edu. So mahalo everybody, mahalo for your support. Hi, mahalo nui. Maikai, so um, just wanted to see um, eh, Krista Mekano, if you guys had any closing mana'o. Yeah, mahalo again to all of you joining us today on Le Anue Nui. Mahalo to Kanayo Kana, of course. Um, really, the, the impetus for all of this is to support our, our communities out there. And so we want you guys to please join us on Vaihona. So I hope to see you on Vaihona. Mahalo. Mahalo so much for tuning in. We're just so excited to share this with all of you. Um, you know, we, we birthed this child and now the child is out there uh, in the community being raised and all of you are helping to, you know, raise this this Waihona. So thank you so much for, for contributing to the Waihona, for helping us to um, build, shape the direction of future development. Again, mahalo. Yes, mahalo nuya olua no koolua manao no kaolua hana nui. Um, we're just really thankful for all that you guys are doing um, as a part of our team as we build this, as we um, just do this for the Lahui, for the community. Um, so a few closing slides here as we wrap it up. Um, we really want to um, ask your um, kokua so that we can bring better programming to you and, you know, 
is this something that you know you're wanting us to continue so if you can go to kanayokana.net slash survey um it, it takes about a two or three minutes it's really quick and we you know we just humbly ask you to do that you can also there's a um, option in there to add your email if you would like us uh to stay in contact with us that way as well um and again we we are just really mahalo for all that you um share with us in, in these surveys and so i'm gonna try to see if i can follow more here and i might be oh here we go so omg we have some exciting programs this afternoon as well as tomorrow so you gotta come back at two o'clock today my tita mahina paishan dwart will be doing inamona kukui if you've ever wanted to learn how to do that or maybe you wanted to learn some tips because maybe you make it, but you want to hear like, oh, what is her style over there in Holualoa or, you know, Kona style, or maybe she's doing a Oahu style because that's where she's from, you know, um, come back and join us. And, you know, she, she has all her helpers that'll be there crushing it and prepping it. And she's going to give us some insight into that. And then tomorrow, Apopo, um, Friday at nine, nine o'clock, Kumu Meleana Meyer will be joining us again. And she will be doing another amazing art class with us. And I put this little picture as a maunu, as a bait to let you know a little insight into kind of what we're doing tomorrow. And um, again, it's a, it's a lot of arting and writing and mo'olelo. So, you know, you're always in for a really great surprise of things you can continue to do, not just like for the one hour you're with us. We really want all of you to, to take these lessons and to be able to hold them out. So those are two of our things coming up. And, you know, we got some things. We usually um, continue to update our schedule later today and throughout the weekend. So you got to go back and check out this link, kanayokana.net slash lay because just a little insight, I already confirmed Pomai Ka'i Laiman that's going to be sharing a little more about her tutu, Anake Genoa Keave, and just more exciting people coming on. So make sure you go to our um, schedule there. So that's just a little insight. And of course, a big mahalo nui to all of our partners. You know, um, we're going live on Facebook, but not just on Kanayo Kana and Hawaii Nui Chaos page, but we got all our partners, Uivi TV, um, OHA, CNHA, the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. Um, who else is there? Mana Maoli, you know, so, so many of our partners are joining in and helping us go live and bring this, bringing this to our community. So a way to stay connected is really to go follow us on Facebook or like our page, even on Instagram. Um, and we'll make these slides available because when you go click on any one of these links in the slides, it'll take you directly to our website or even take you to our project dashboard. Like you wanna know like, what is what are they doing there at Kanayo Kana? What projects are they working on? You can go and click on that dashboard and then you can see and learn more there. So just really thankful for um, all of you for tuning in um, and we look forward to you coming back and just have a beautiful day, everyone. Um, and again, hola elua.